Well, police say the man accused of causing a deadly Christmas Eve crash was going more than double the posted speed limit. But in court today, his attorney said it's not his fault. 8 News Now reporter Orko Mana obtained the arrest report, which tells another story. This is the most unusual charging decision I've seen. Rigoberto Chavez Solorzano faces three charges of felony reckless driving for this deadly Christmas Eve crash. His attorney, Craig Mueller, says he is not to blame, but the arrest report just obtained by 8 News Now says that at the time of impact, the instrument panel on Chavez Solorzano's car showed a speed of 82 miles per hour in a 35 mile per hour zone. Surveillance video shows Chavez Solorzano's black car slam into the side of another car, the collision killing 41 year old Maribel Alleman and sending her husband and 13 year old son to the hospital. I've got the video. If you like that, it's queued up. You're going press it. You can see it for yourself. But in court Thursday, Mueller used that same video to argue that Chavez Solorzano was following the flow of traffic and is not to blame for the crash. There's not any meaningful doubt what happened here. There's a videotape of exactly what happened. And unfortunately, the other car was cutting directly across Westlake Mead and went right in front of him in his lane of travel. It is my opinion the driver of the other car is in fact at fault for the accident. People who live in this area say cars always speed down this stretch of Lake Mead Boulevard, and when looking at the surveillance video, they think that's what happened in this case. To impact that car like that, if he's far away, he can see the car coming. And with that impact, how he drove that car that way and that woman flew, it, he knows he was speeding. A memorial at the crash site continues to grow for Alleman. According to the arrest report, a witness told police they saw Chavez Solorzano's car racing with another vehicle on this very same street. They're racing constantly. The family is now left praying for those still in the hospital and grieving a life taken too soon. Orcomana, 8 News Now. As you just saw there, a GoFundMe is set up to help the family. The address is on our website at lasvegasnow.com. Chavez Solorzano, by the way, is due back in court next month.